Okay, so in this video, we are going to explain a retaining income note. So please make sure that you watch until the end so that you will gain more principle about these notes that we are going to do. So let's check the question paper that we have. Okay, we have been given extract from pre-adjustment, a trial balance. So they give us the balances from ordinary share capital up to ordinary share dividend. Okay, and they also give us... a the transaction that is related to these notes that we are going to do okay let's start with our balance at the beginning so if you check in this case our opening balance has been given so they give us opening balance of two million nine hundred and seventy eight thousand this is the opening balance at the beginning of the year okay in this case it is given but in other case you will find that they only give you at the end and you have to calculate this one as a balancing figure okay now let's check the next one net profit after tax so if we check transaction the first transaction that we have they said the correct net profit after tax after all adjustment is one million three hundred and forty two thousand and eighty rand the income tax rate is 28 percent of the net profit before tax and interest income is the balancing figure so in this case we are only looking for what net profit after tax so in this case we are given as it is but other case you will find that they give you before tax you have to subtract tax first then you get after tax okay so in this case is one million three hundred and forty two thousand and eight Okay, then now we have to go to share buyback. Share buyback. Okay, note the relevant entry has been made. 250 share were repurchased at amount of 425 cent per share on 30 November 2020. On February 2021, ordinary share capital comprised of 3,412,500. This is the shares at the end. Okay, then a final dividend uh, has been paid by 36 cents. In this case, there was no any additional share at the end. Simple means that our average share, we can also calculate it using the closing balance of the share. Okay, but if there is an additional share that has been uh, sold by a company, simple means that you can calculate average share by using the balance at the end if it is already included additional share okay so if you check in this case our ordinary share capital amount at the end is three million is 13 million 650 we want to check what how much was average share three million six hundred and fifty thousand and you divide by number of share at the end which is 13 3 million okay then it's gonna give you amount of four rand which means that our average price was four rand remember the one that we have to calculate under retained income is a loss it's a loss that has been made we sold this share by 425 and the actual price is 400 which means that our loss is is 25 cent so which means that we have to say 250 250 thousand share by 25 cent of loss 25 cent we got it by 400 minus 400 25 then it give us 25 cent okay if you do this calculation you are going to get 62,500 very simple okay now we have to calculate the dividend if you check interim dividend has been given under our trial balance at the end they say ordinary share dividend is six six hundred and seventy two thousand rand so guys if it, it is written shareholders for dividends under a balance section, it's a final dividend, it's not interim. Okay, so which means that in this case it's interim, 
of 672,000. And final dividends we need to calculate. Okay. They said all a final dividend of 36 cents per share was declared on 28 February. All shareholders on the register at, at the end qualify for this final dividend, which means that the one that we read on the previous transaction, the shares of 3,412,500 multiplied by 36 cents. Okay, then it's gonna give us amount of 1,228,500. Okay, if you add this all dividends, these two, uh, it's going to give you 1,900,500. Simple like that. Okay, then after that, now you can calculate the balance at the end. You take at the beginning plus profit after tax minus share buyback minus dividends. Then you will get amount of 2,357,000. Thousand and eighty rand. That's how you should calculate retaining income notes. So I hope you learned something in this video, guys. Please, please, before you leave, make sure that you have subscribed and make sure that you also join our group, guys, for extra class, which is costing only sixty rand, and the start guide for my subscribers is costing only a fifty rand soft copy. So get your one so that you can study and get some solutions. I'm going to see you on the next one.